I'd like to, to say that I've got a suggestion that's going to save us hundreds of millions of dollars immediately if we'll do it. How much did you guys pay for gas money decent? About 350? About 350? I'm filling up for about 44 North Little Rock and CNE station. Joe Taylor on Conway Police Department. Went over here to Fort Smith the other day, drove out in Oklahoma, he filled up for a buck eight. And he and I are on the phone arguing about $1.44 and a buck eight. And I said, you know what? People would scream to hear us fussing about a buck forty-four and all that. It cost me some money to convert my truck, but I believe you need leadership in the state of Arkansas. I told them today when they really didn't have anything to say about what I suggested, and I want to share those statistics with you. And I told them, I said, they said, where are you going to find this money, Senator Raper? I even had to trickle down economics pulled out by Senator Luke. <laughs> I said, it's not trickle down economics. I said, I'll tell you right now where you'll find hundreds of millions of dollars. We have under our feet in this state the best natural gas resource in the country. Under our feet, if we convert our school buses, our municipal vehicles, and our state vehicles, we'll save hundreds of millions of dollars. And then we'll be wondering about what we're going to do with that money. Man, I'm not giving it to the governor either. <laughs> Let me tell you, I'm going to share this quick because this wasn't my question, but I just came from that committee, and I'm going to give you guys what I have in my pocket. You look at it. I'm going to tell you my thoughts on tax reform in this state. That man sitting right back there on the back seat stepped up in the last session, co-sponsored this bill with me. I've had several people since that presentation today say they want to be on the bill with me when we cover this in session. But here's the reality for you guys living here in the state of Arkansas. You are 39th in the nation in your business tax plan. Your, your actual comp income tax rate on your personal income tax is 7%. That's 14th highest in the nation and second highest in the entire state. Arkansas Democrat Gazette actually did an article in December called Income Tax and Saw. That was the name of it. Some of you may have read that. In addition to that, when you look at these maps that I shared with you today, you'll find I was amazed that our combined sales tax average is number seven in the nation as well. We are number three in poverty rate amongst our children. We are 47th in the nation for the average wages of our people. Now, I'm happy for what Governor Laney did with revenue stabilization. I am happy as I can be. But folks, I don't think we have much to crow about when our people are suffering. The map that you see right here is the 2010 county level poverty rates for the state of Arkansas. The U.S. average poverty rate is a little over 15%. It's actually 15.2%. The average poverty rate in the state of Arkansas is over 18%. 70 out of 75 of your counties has over 16.9% poverty in each of these counties. Take these maps, these are y'all's, you pass them around. That's a problem. I'm an Arkansas. My family came here in 1803. Raised up in Supply, Arkansas. Six days out of seven, my daddy was somewhere else working because he didn't have a job in Arkansas. Chico County tonight pulled up to the dinner table where they have over 30% poverty rate. Hear me? 30%. They don't send any hope. We just did redistricting. Their political power swept off to the Northwest. I'm in Faulkner County. I want people to experience economic growth like we experience. I believe that you can't be the best state that you need to be when you have an arm tied behind your back. It's not rocket science, people. The one, two, and three top states in our country in business tax funding, you've got Wyoming, Alaska, and South Dakota. You know what they have in common? Zero income tax, zero corporate tax, excuse me, zero capital gains tax, and only Alaska has little bit of a corporate income tax. This is not, listen to me, this is not hard. You look at the states with the best policies in place and look and see what we can do with them here to grow. You will expand your tax base and the revenue will come. Some people don't understand numbers. You understand the field of dreams, that old movie? 
You build it, they'll come, right? If we'll create the best economic environment in this nation to be had, people will come here. Do you believe that? Yeah. They will. Yeah. They will come here. I want Arkansas to be the best state in this country. And what I keep teed up for me here is that we can actually put in place the policies to make Arkansas a better state and a more competitive state. And I will tell you, it's not, it is not morally acceptable to see people in our state that are suffering and not do something to help them. I can tell you about the bill later, but I can tell you that when we worry about the people's bottom line, I was taught if I would run my business taking care of my clients, my business would take care of itself. So when we worry about you having more money in your pocket, you having more money to put fuel in your vehicle, you having more money to put food on your table, guess what? The government will take care of itself because you will prosper. So we ask you to help us do this and make sure we have a majority Republican legislature next year.